Hello and welcome to the Export to Japan podcast. My name is Sue Kinoshita and I'm the Director of UK Trade and Investment based at the British Embassy in Tokyo. Let me start by wishing you a happy anniversary. Of what? Well, I don't know, but everyone seems to be commemorating something this year. UK Japan Trading Relations, 400 years. London Underground, 150 years. Doctor Who, 50 years. So I'm sure you'll have some milestone of your own to celebrate. For me, it's 30 years working for the Foreign Office, which I do find hard to believe. It seems no time since my very first day feeling completely intimidated by the grandeur of its offices in Whitehall. I also remember that the first thing I learnt was how to pin a cardboard flag to a submission. I guess today you would use a little sticker or something to show that this is attachment A and that's attachment B. But then we used little flags which we had to pin in, pin front to back, then back to the front and then bury the tip in the middle so that the minister doesn't prick his finger. I hadn't realised that becoming a diplomat would entail lessons in haberdashery. Anyway, anniversaries have been a theme of my work in the past couple of weeks. First of all, I was invited to speak at a celebration to mark the centenary of doing business in Japan of John Smedley, royal warrant holders and manufacturers of truly covetable knitwear. Their imperial credentials actually predate their regal ones. Their archives contain copies of the annual orders they used to receive from the Taisho Emperor of Japan. Those were for 365 vests and 365 pairs of long johns. That's what I call getting close to your customer. Next up was the annual British Business Awards Ceremony in Tokyo, marking the 65th anniversary, there's another one, of the British Chamber of Commerce in Japan. A fantastic evening with prizes for Augusta Westland and their partners, Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Lush, Steve Crane of Business Link Japan, who are important partners in export to Japan, Publishers Custom Media, the British School in Tokyo, and Guy Perryman of Inter-FM radio station, who's done more than anyone else to introduce Japanese fans to British music and British lifestyle. The judges for the awards included Michael Woodford, the former CEO of Olympus, and Nikki King, MD of Isuzu Trucks UK, and John Harding, the Chief Operating Officer of UK Trade and Investment, who happens to be my boss. So the winners can feel justly proud to have been recognised for their excellence by their business peers. The awards attracted a record 51 nominations this year, proof that British business really is booming in Japan. Then, a few days after that, the British Market Council marked its 40th anniversary with a reception at the British Ambassador's residence. The council was set up by five of the big Japanese trading houses in 1973 as a way of countering the criticism at the time of Japan's huge trade surplus and its image as a protectionist, impenetrable market. At the time, that was partly true, although it clearly hadn't stopped John Smedley or the founding fathers of the British Chamber of Commerce. The barriers that did exist then have now largely disappeared, with the remaining ones on both sides the subject of free trade negotiations between Japan and the EU. There's another anniversary. The UK joined the EU's precursor 40 years ago this year. But the British Market Council continues in its generous support of British businesses seeking to enter the Japanese market, sponsoring several UKTI initiatives this year. Interpreters to help companies exhibiting at trade fairs, directories of UK suppliers, journalist visits to the UK to cover UK products, services and trends for the Japanese media, and much more besides. The British Chamber of Commerce in Japan, the British Market Council, UKTI, just three of the many organisations who are here to help smooth your way in the Japanese market. Some 30 companies and organisations have joined together in the Export to Japan Partnership to help British companies like yours to establish and develop their business here with practical help and advice. Just check out the Build Your Network pages of the Export to Japan website and see how many helping hands are out there. Do take a look. Get in touch with us on export to Japan at fco.gov.uk and start preparing for your own centenary of doing business in Japan in 2113.